Welcome back and thank you very much. The final newspaper says 700 get uh, 6 million Ghana cities under presidential business support. National Security secures Ghana Water Company Limited database from Soft Tribe and Magdan Foundation to provide 680,000 and uh, six classroom block and library for basic schools in the ND. Joint multinational operations arrest 427 people. The Ghanaian Times, police to deploy 15,000 men for Xmas. IGP launches Operation Father Christmas. And government disperses 6 million Ghana cities to 700 young entrepreneurs in uh, under presidential business support program window two. In Sawami Dwejiri benefits from one constituency, one AstroTurf initiative. And um, Wembley by uh, Robert Coleman and his, and his folks out there. Nuta calls for government intervention in trade war with Guta. And the Daily Graphic, Commander Sugar Factory, government named strategic investor. Parliament approves 2020 budget. And 700 businesses in North receive support. Garments Village for Dawa Industrial Zone and pre xmas retail business supplement from the graphic in there. The Daily Guide. No document on Sedina uh, Maslok, uh, Maslok Cash witness say so. Above four boys on Rampage and Ghana Post Alliance launch post insurance. Parliament approves 2020 budget and police launch Father Christmas uh, operations. The Ghanaian publisher. National Security Storms Soft Tribe to retrieve Ghana Water Company Limited database. Dr. Bomia asks Mahama, where is your legacy? ADB wins Best Cocoa Financing Institution Award at uh, the Made in Ghana Cocoa Awards by Kojo Hayford and his VC Media. The Daily Statement, fighting the solid waste swamping our beaches. NDC gets the running mate jitters. Mahama torn between Prof's Opokwajiman, former Minister for Education, and Professor Boche, former Minister for Finance, also uh, who led the committee to uh, look into why the NDC lost the 2016 election. Asenso MPP always honors his promise. Asenso is Deputy um, Chief of Staff. My guest this morning is Adam Agbana. He is a Deputy uh, National Youth Organizer of the NDC. We don't yet, as yet have uh, a rep from the NPP side, but I'm sure when we do receive a guest, we will uh, give them a seat and allow them to also ventilate what's on their mind. Adam, good morning. How are you doing, my brother? Great to see you. Great. Good to see you too. Uh, everything fine? You know, the economy is difficult. I mean, things are hard. There's mm. so much hardship, but we're managing. Hopefully, in about a year, this government will make the exit okay. for a more progressive and a more sensitive government. Mm. I see. Interesting. Okay, so um, I'm reading on uh, page uh, page three of the Daily Guide, which, which talks about Ajoa Marko, municipal chief executive of the Tema West Assembly, reportedly escaped being physically attacked by some agitated members of the Anointed Chapel International, owned by Francis H., popularly known as Reverend Obofo. The nasty incident occurred near Tema Community 18 runabout on Monday at about 1 uh, 11 a.m., the MC and her officers were on the premises of the church to inspect building permits and also collect property rates. Official uh, of the assembly, particularly the finance officer, was hit in the rib with an object and his phone smashed, while security officers of the MC uh, were also hit with a stick on his waist and head, causing him to bleed profusely. And according to eyewitnesses, the MC escaped on head because some city guards had to use their bodies to shield her into the car from the rampaging goons. But they managed to cause damage to the car in the process. Now, this is happening in the face of the law. And we understand that the assembly went there to go and check uh, what was happening, whether they had the permits to build and all of that. And uh, the tax of the Osofu were re released onto onto him. Well, uh, I'm sure we can kick kick start the conversation that way. But first, yesterday, my colleague uh, Martin Esidu that went to have an email to have a conversation about the ongoing campaign we started here about rice production, the bumper harvest, and whether or not Ghanaians are consuming rice and where we could store them. Take a look at this. 
TB3 broke the news of a rice glut in the three regions of the north. Government kicked into motion a series of actions to save the local rice industry. Key amongst the actions include government's decision to ban the importation of rice from 2022. If you take 10 million out of the 30 million population, they eat rice before they go to sleep. It means there's a big opportunity and market for we those who are in rice cultivation. But that can only be realized that when the farmer goes to the field and grow, he's able to get market for whatever he has grown. Government has a plan. And the plan is that we have given ourselves up to by 2022 to ban rice import into this country. Just to support the local rice farmer to make sure that he also get market for whatever and value for whatever he produces. Welcome back. So we'll talk about rice, but uh, I've been joined also in studio by the Honorable Fuseni Issa. He's the Member of Parliament for the Okanque North Constituency. Honorable, welcome. Good to see you. Ah, good it's to been see a you. While. Thank, thanks for having okay. me. Okay. So uh, we're, we're just, uh, I, I read about our buff war and how he had attacked, or because the church belongs to him, and it happened and how they had attacked officials of the government. The MCE represents the president. And so the president has been beaten, if you like. <laughs> and this, this comes on the back of the fact that five different summons served on him from the assembly have been flatly refused and disrespected by him. You are closer to him, right? What do you, what do you say? Um, good morning to you. Good morning to my fellow uh, panelist, Adam, right? Yes, Adam. Adam. And then... Um, a good, a good morning to my constituents as well in Okan mm. Um APC, APC is a neighbor of ours, actually. Um, he has a church right on the boundary mm. of my constituency with Trouble, um, uh, Trouble okay. uh, where Honorable Moses' name is, is, is member mm. of parliament. And so I am, I am quite um, aware of some of their activities. Mm. And also where he started off his church at Chanta okay. was a place I used to, I used to live. Mm. Uh, but let's coming back to the, the, the issue that happened in the Tema enclave. I mm. think that it's a very unfortunate um, 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 situation. Mm -hmm. um, for the assembly to be, or members, I mean, or employees of the assembly mm. to, be, to, be, to be put under this sort of um, um, treatment, mm. I think it's, it's highly unfortunate. But you see, it's, and they it's, went in we branded can, vehicles. By in the branded way. vehicles, mm. but then we can look at 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 this in a in a in a, in a broader perspective, and mm. um, <laughs> not limiting it to just what happened in Tema, but what's mm. happening across the the, the the greater Accra region or even across mm. the country. Um, this 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 said land is 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 I, from what I gather, it's it's supposed to be a waterway. Okay, where, it's, it's where, supposed to be a is. where the church is it's located. Supposed it's supposed waterway. to be a waterway. That's what I, okay. I gather. And um, this this building sprang up on, mm. on a supposed waterway. Mm. Um, this this building could not have sprung up within days or weeks. Uh, probably the assembly was also watching for all this while mm. for the building to start. And I hear it at the lentil or almost, mm. almost rule three mm. level mm -hmm. before the assembly actually moves in. Mm -hmm. But you see, from, from, from what I also know, at least from my experience in my, my mm -hmm. municipal assembly, which is Okankwe North Municipal mm -hmm. Assembly, mm -hmm. there is an engineer who is supposed to be in charge of all of these permits. There is a committee within the assembly mm -hmm. who is supposed to be issuing these this, this right. permits mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. And, and, and even, even if you have a house mm -hmm. and you want to do extension to your house, um, to, to some extent, right, even if you want to paint your house, you probably mm. require a permit from the assembly. Are, are, are Ghanaians aware that you need such permits to be able to do these jobs? Mm -hmm. um, why, why was assembly also watching 
for this building to start and get to that level before they act. I mean, it's it's a whole sort of a, a, a mix. Mm -hmm. I think that um, um, the assembly also has a responsibility to educate today. The, the, the assembly says it issued five summons to him when he saw the build, buildings bring it up. I, and usually that's the practice. Yeah. You go out there, yeah. you see uh, an illegal structure coming mm -hmm. up, you summon the person to yeah. appear and explain. Perhaps mm -hmm. the person has... Mm -hmm a document that you are not privy to. Mm. Five times, mm. they refused it. Mm. Now, the MCE, uh, Assembly Engineer, um, Chief Finance Officer, and a couple of them went in branded vehicles mm -hmm. to go and ask for their permit specifically mm. after the five summons have been refused. Mm. And they didn't get the documents. Instead, they got the main entrance locked. The paint with which they would have written stop work produce permit was poured on them mm -hmm. and they were lynched. Their own their own paint their was, own poured, on was poured on them and they were lynched in the house of God, supposedly. I think I, I think this God. is impunity in the face of the of the, of the, of the law. And I I, I I I want to say that look, the the, 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 the the law should take its course. I mean whoever is found culpable mm -hmm. uh, in in this situation should should be dealt with by the law. If the assembly issues summons and, and they, they, they they fail to heed to the summons of the assembly, I, I believe that the law courts are there to, to, to deal with some of these situations and to we should quickly deal. But but we should look at this in the bigger scale. Bigger and not, and I, not I, just, I'll come just we'll come back to it. But Adam, take a quick bite on this one. What do you see? Do you see impunity? Do you see uh, connivance? Do you see disrespect for the law? Uh, or do you see just somebody who has grown beyond his space and now wants to, of course, uh, Sofu Chabusum wants to be a president as well? <laughs> yeah. Well, Johnny, I, I think that there's general um, impunity and a growing lawlessness in this country. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like the current government has what it takes to be able to deal with it because they started pampering the lawlessness right from the presidency. In 2017, mm -hmm. when President Akufado took over and DSP Nankabrus was brutally assaulted mm -hmm. right at the seat of the presidency, it was captured on CCTV <clears throat> camera, and instead of the president taking action against the individuals who were involved in that assault. Mm. They rather took action against the gentleman who was suspected to have leaked the CCTV recordings. Right after that incident, mm -hmm. we have seen several cases of lawlessness. Mm -hmm. And you see, when you live in a country where there is selective enforcement of the law, this is the result that you see. So today, mm. Reverend Obofo is able to Masap is meant to beat up the MC and his men because mm -hmm. some months ago, Prophet Owusu Bempa, mm -hmm. who is an appointee of President Akufado, who himself, and President Akufado has acknowledged as a spiritual advisor, mm -hmm. went to hit FM. Owusu Bempa is an appointee of the president. I mean, he's a, yeah, he's a member, he's a board member. Of which? Of which he's he's a member of the Ghana Cancer Board or something. I think that's public knowledge. You can check. Okay. Your, your producers can check. Mm -hmm. And who we all know has a relationship with the president. Some months ago, was in Heat FM. They brutalized the workers at Heat FM. They destroyed machines there as we speak. He has not even been invited by the police for any questioning. A few weeks after, he was on the studios. He was in the studios of Radio XYZ. He went with his men that he wanted to attack Mugabe and the workers of Radio XYZ. You remember that incident? What has happened? The gentleman has been left off the hook. So his colleagues will certainly find courage to do some of these things because you know what? The reason why there is the law and law enforcement is necessary is that it serves as a deterrent mm. for others. So if a few months ago, when mm. Prophet Owusu Bempa was engaged in those acts of lawlessness because of his closeness to the president, if he was punished and some punitive measures were taken against the boys that he took to the studios of Hits FM and Radio XYZ, I'm not sure Reverend Obofo will have the courage to do some of these things. I think that the law must take its course. However, it will be hypocritical on our part to be calling on the law enforcement agencies to deal with Reverend Obofo and his boys alone. When Ousu Bempa, who we know is so close to the president and is still an appointee of President Akufadu, has not been punished for those acts of lawlessness. I think that 
We must get to a point where we allow our institutions to work without interference from the presidency or the entire government machinery. So why are we here today? We are here today because when the lawlessness started at the seat of the presidents, mm. DSP Nankabrus, we allowed it to fester. Touch, and that is why we are here touch, today. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm, someone would say this morning, uh, even though I have my reservations about who becomes a pastor these days because all you hear is Nyamia Fremi, God has called me, and that's it. <laughs> uh, no requisite training, no capacity. And I've been asking myself which of Jesus' apostles was unemployed before they became a man of God. <laughs> so touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Someone will say, what do you say? It's, most of these prophets or pastors are hiding behind religious philosophies to cover their crime. Like I said, that is why we have institutions that have the mandate mm. to enforce the laws. It is not left onto Ghana is a secular country. We are not a religious mm country. We are a secular state and we have institutions of state like the police service, mm. we have the CID, we have all of those security agencies supposed to help us to enforce the laws. So when we think that So the why are they not enforcing this, the law? They are not enforcing because like I have told you, it started from the presidency well, but, and but, 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 but the MCA went to enforce the law. So the she MCA, didn't go alone, yes, she went and, with and, the, and that's her what I'm team. Saying that. What happened to the MCA and, and, and her team is a result is the fruit that we are reaping today of the seeds that were sold at the presidency when it happened to DSP and Cabrus. It is the same seeds that Prophet Owusu Bempa, who is a close friend of the president, his presidential spiritual advisor and an appointee of the government, when he was engaged in this similar act of lawlessness. Why didn't Honorable Fuseni and the many other MPP Are you, are you justifying so, No, I'm not justifying. What I'm saying mm. is that what is wrong is wrong. But we are here today because there's a certain history to it. Mm. And you cannot uproot the lawlessness if you are applying selective enforcement where, where, of the law. Where do we go, deal with where do we go from, from here? But deal with Prophet Owusu Bempa as well. Let President Akufuado develop a tough skin to us or begin to be fair mm. when it comes to the application or enforcement mm. of the law. And, and, and then there's the, the other angle where I remember when Obinim was picked up by the police for beating two teenagers in his church who had had sex and a, an abortion uh, or attempted to abort the baby, but I think the baby is there now. And we had a crowd come on, on the streets to even threaten the government in power to yes. say that if you touch him, you lose votes. That's the politician's dilemma. Uh, the elections are coming, you're losing your votes. Fuseni, have we, have we gotten to the point where the impunity cannot be stopped and where it's so glaring, but we are afraid to act because of the political consequences? I, I, I think that um, as, 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 as a society, mm. we, we need to have a real look at some of these things. Um, my brother here will have the luxury to be referring to incidents in 2017 that happened at the seat of government. Mm. I'll tell him that if we, I don't know where he wants to um, and draw the cutoff. Mm. I'll tell him that, look, we, we were in this country, we were even in cabinet meetings. We, we found the president abusing his vice president mm. in this country. I don't know where he was then. Mm. In this country, so we, it's we not a matter of it's not a matter of referring to it's it's not a matter of it's not. I I vividly remember. I, I mean, mean, when he was talking, that, that the, the, the account of the incident given by the late um, Harry Sawyer after the incident. I mean, because we we couldn't take mm. and and all of that. You see, so I I I don't know where we want to, but let's 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 look at the bigger picture. Mm. Um, mm. the same APC church not too long ago had some issues with them. Um, um, somebody sm have been asked to smoke, smoke weed, weed and all, yes, all of that. Right. So it's 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 bigger than just um, the but, but where does the and I don't see I don't from? see how you can you can you can you can stretch this to see that uh, the president is being culpable because somebody was allowed to speak. I mean, uh, of course, I mean or, he's he's or, speaking. Or but what what do, I, I what do you I, think? I don't, I don't because think. the impunity. Look, the impunity is is becoming way bigger and monstrous. That's that's than that's we can right. look at. That's right. Look, we're smoking. I don't know what's happening to that and, weed. And you see, that Johnny, Johnny, smoking yes, spree. Yes, yes. Where, where he says, look, smoke the weed, and that will save you from uh, the addiction 
and nobody can do nothing to you. And up to now, nothing has happened. No, I, th I think there, there was some. The, the police commenced investigations. Well, but you commenced, there was some. You commenced investigations. I mean, I mean, I mean, never, I mean the institutions. The institutions. I mean, we have the Inspector General of Police. We have the other heads of the other security services. I'm sure that if if politicians and, and for that matter the, the presidents mm -hmm. intervene in some of these issues, will also be be, be seen to I, be. I, and, I'm, and, I'm submitting to you yeah, that, that in the matter of Obinim and the two mm -hmm. two teenagers, yeah. the matter has still not been closed. It's still in court. It's not been closed. <laughs> if the matter is in court, <laughs> well, so be it. Well, that, well, it's, so, it's even good so, that the matter went as far so, as going to the court. So, uh, but, uh, I, but uh, I'm uh, saying it that. It is good that the me. matter okay. is in court. Allow me. But, but if we're saying, I'm saying that mm. it is because people are not immediately punished, don't you think? You which see, is what, I, I, which is I, don't, what I don't also think that you are, you are asking for mob justice or some sort of instant justice when you say they are not immediately punished. I'm, I don't think, but, and I, I don't for a Kuzini, moment want to think Kuzini, that that's what you want to Sorry about that, to. but if somebody smokes uh, Indian hemp yeah. openly, yeah. if you ask somebody to smoke Indian hemp openly, at the Calabas, ask, yes, I'm, I'm just right, creating a okay, scenario. Okay, do it. Under the traffic lights, yeah, at the Braca, or, uh, uh, at the Calapas, Calapas traffic yeah. lights, right, and it goes viral. Mm. You will be picked up. The person will be picked up. In this case, and I'm the person sure, was picked up. And I'm sure you'll be in jail by now. Jail. I mean, I'm sure you'll be in I jail mean, by now. I mean, the person in this in that, in that instance, what happened in the church? The, the the pastor, to the best of my knowledge, was invited by the police. Right. And investigations or whatever. I'm not too sure where the case is going to. Where, as where, I speak where the gentleman in question says, I was giving the weed. And even even on narcotics. And, not too long were, ago. And, where, and where I was told to come and present it this TV. way even, so even, that I'll even, make even, money. Even, even given the case of narcotics, I mean, <laughs> is, it, is it a criminal offense to even be smoking publicly now? I mean, it's, it's, it's something that it as a, a nation... It's a criminal offense. You it, know, it, it's it, is, it is for yeah. now. But it's something that we are still having some very broad discussions on. The narcotics bill is being is being worked on in Parliament and all of that as to where we are going to go. I mean, we, we are, are the pastors becoming that. our problem. I I, I think that um, they, it, we we where we, we need, shroud we need everything to, in spirituality and religiosity I, and common sense flees. I think what we need to do is that um, to ensure that everybody is equal before the law. That's it irrespective of whether you are a pastor, whether you are an imam, or whether you are a comfort, we should all be equal before the law. And so if, if a pastor does something, if, if an imam does something, if an comfort does something, should be dealt with by the law, just like any other citizen. And um, finally, pastor. are the pastors becoming too powerful? And I, I do not want us to go back to uh, president, and I'm asking a general question, respond to it. I don't think that the pastors are becoming too powerful. It is our institutions that are becoming less powerful. Mm. I think that every institution mm. has a certain mandate. Our job is to call on the institutions to act and do the right thing. Mm. If the institutions of state, mm -hmm. with the mandate to check this lawlessness, mm -hmm. are doing their work, some of these excesses will not be seen. Mm -hmm. If they were doing their work at the time, Usu Bempa was, was misbehaving. We will not have seen Obofo and Co. doing so today. So my point is that while we encourage the institutions to do their work, we ought to acknowledge mm. that the pampering of the lawlessness started from somewhere, and that mm. is the presidency. Okay. Join us with your thoughts and comments. 020 This is uh, TV3 New Day. Let's move on now. And as, as I showed you earlier, the conversation about the rice uh, is is on, and I don't know if uh, Sini, you have you have seen our campaign on on the rice. I am happy that we are getting results from PFJ, as the government you know tells us. But I am not happy about how we have handled the the harvest, and we are getting post harvest losses. Farmers are not too excited. The Ghanaian public is not too receptive to the local rice. What do we do? I, 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 think that, I think that the first step is uh, for us even discussing these issues at, at platforms like, mm. like this. And I, I think it's, it's positive, and I, I, must, I must say that I'm, 
it's 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 just heartwarming that mm. finally we are coming to the table to talk about issues like this and it's 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 affecting everybody and mm. people are having having to think about this thing yesterday we we're seated in parliament where i was talking to my colleague and said look okay. henceforth i am going to make it a rule in my house that we only eat um, local rice and okay. she was like oh we there we've even started already and it, it was it was it was heartwarming mm. that individually we are realizing that as a nation we need to consume what we produce and produce what we consume. And mm. it's the first step towards changing the structure of our economy. Mm. That alone, <laughs> if people had an idea yeah. how this could impact on this country and our economy, I am sure that these discussions will be held. I mean, I, I dove my heart off for, for TV3 and for other media houses mm. who have actually taken this campaign on and, and put in it. But when you talk about post harvest, harvest losses mm. and all of that, I, I think that I am. It's it's this glad. In fact, with the first video clip that I saw, mm -hmm. I, I I was I was very 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 surprised that mm -hmm. these things are happening, given the quant quantum of rice that that's been harvested and that 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 needed to be processed. Mm -hmm. But um, um, discussions are ongoing. Okay. In fact, there is one member of parliament, and I, I need to acknowledge him, Honourable Odum. Okay. Um, hey, we call him the rice master in Panama mm. because okay. he's taking that campaign. I mean, he started long ago, long ago. across West Africa. He's mm. been to country after country and, and trying to, 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 to get us to consume our local rice. Okay. I think Honorable Udum is doing a marvelous work. And, and I'm, I'm following the news as well. The ministry mm. is engaging the millers and all that, and the bankers making sure that they have the requisite funding to be able to buy all this party Why rice did we not plan for that. it? I, 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 when I, we were planting the seed, it is. It is. I, I think that it's it's a whole value chain, right? From 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 the point of pro, pro providing the inputs to the farmers, mm. from the point of who buys processing up up onto the market to consumption. It's okay. a whole value chain, mm. and and we we won't perfect the entire value chain okay. within a year or two. Mm. So we have realized that within the chain there are issues or challenges along the chain and that is what is being addressed and mm -hmm. for me it is it is heartwarming and i'm looking forward to us moving from just rice to saying that we should consume ghana mm -hmm. and 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 we should produce what we consume and and consume what we what, what we produce mm -hmm. in this country and mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a marvelous thing but i it's, it's also heartwarming that the stakeholders are at the table having a discussion this morning i'm hearing the deputy minister for our great speak that wenko is ghana guaranteed mm. that they are going to buy all the rice all, all the rice that that is that that is mm. available for for processing mm. and it's it's something that um, it's it's, it's Be, beyond, beyond a that, huge positive for us as be, beyond that i would want us to look at uh the 2019 year mm. plenty for food and jobs will be in 20, 2020 uh, yeah. i beg you yeah um the budget that you just approved mm. table 21 will list key roads, mm. you know, and some other road projects. Mm. Are these road projects connected to the farms? Because one of the big problems is that, look, the farmers can't transport the produce from the farms to the market mm. or places where people mm. are mm. so they could sell. Mm. Are these roads connected? I, I, I think that it, it was not for nothing that um, Table 21 actually named these roads as critical roads. And it's imperative because I, I looked at the table. In Accra, the total um, um, roads being constructed is about 28 kilometers because mm -hmm. 11 kilometers are in my constituency. And in a place like the Volta region, which 28 was initially... 28, you have just 11. You have 11. 11, yeah. I mean, wow. I mean it, was, it was looked at on need basis. Wow. I mean, need assessment basis. I mean, my place is, has a unique, unique, unique um, um, 28, you got, you got, you're getting 11 kilometers. Uh, you see, I'm, I'm saying that my my You must be the president's favorite. <laughs> it's, it's all got into it's all got into it's all got into that extent. But if you look at a place like the Volta region, which was initially and um, all the Buhaha, Volta region is getting up over two hundred and twenty kilometers. Mm. The Asante region is also getting somewhere about one hundred and eighty kilometers. It shows that those were critically um, and looked at, and that is why they attempt critical roads. And I I expect but, that, but that they is will based impact. on that is based on the income that you are expecting collectibles. And, and if you certainly don't, it's in the budget but 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 we have but also in the budget we've, we've also we've also termed 2020 as a year of roads and i'm telling you and yesterday i had a casual look at it another another look at the at the budget in fact the the investment we are putting totally into the road sector it's about 3.2 billion and this is this is beside what we are getting from 3.2 billion is what you collect from the road fund it's what the road fund no, not, not just the road fund not just a road fund, there were other funding sources okay. put together 
and this is this is even beside what we are getting from Sino Hydro. Mm -hmm. So 2020, it's it's a really a road a, and I'm sure that once those roads are mm -hmm. fixed, all this post harvest losses, transporting our, our, our food items from mm -hmm. the from the from the. I, farm I, my my concern the, is that you are not be able to hit be. your targets revenue targets Ooh. for three years. Ooh. So now Jenny. if your revenue target for 2020 is connected to the inflows and what routes you can construct and how they can help, you know, national development. It is, it is, it is, what, it, is, it, is, it, is it is, it is true. Uh, revenue target fell short almost, almost um, 13 point something percent. Mm -hmm. But, but on the, on the average, those revenues are growing year on year about 20 percent. Mm -hmm. And, and we keep saying that as a nation, there is a, 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 a sort of a, a, some some hole within our revenue revenue collection system mm -hmm. because um, um, similar economies um, within the sub region are doing their tax revenue to their GDP to about 19 20 percent. Ghana is still doing about 13 percent. Okay. It means that there is some missing seven eight percent. Of our, of our tax revenues hidden somewhere, and we'll continue to, 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 to look for them. Mm. We'll continue to bring in measures that will ensure. We'll continue to broaden, deepen the tax net. Mm. We'll continue to digitize the system. Once okay. the system is digitized, and your PIN number will, will, will give every information about your economic mm. transactions, your, 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 your digital address is known, mm. and so um, you can be traced with your property rate and all of that. Right. that those are the things that we, we as a government okay. And we are digitizing the, the economy, not for the sake of digitizing, mm -hmm. but to, to address some of the teething problems that has been with us over the years. Adam, take a bite on this one, uh, the, the overflow and how we have handled it. I think that government didn't plan, uh, even though we are giving improved seedlings, extension offices, fertilizers, government didn't plan the end result. And now we have it. There's a glut, plenty food, and most of them go in waste. I agree with you that government didn't plan, and indeed that is a trademark of this government. There's, there's been no proper planning to any of the policies that they implemented because for them, the underlining motivation for all their policies is to win the next election, mm -hmm. grab vote, make noise in the media, and pretend to be doing something when in actual fact they are not what, actually what does the NDC do? I'll get, I'll get, I'll get you into it. One, under the Mills Mahama government, mm -hmm. Government introduced a beautiful idea of the Ghana Buffer Stock Company, mm. which was supposed to buy the excess volumes of produce from our farmers. They just bought so some. that I mean, before then, I mean, if if indeed it was working, it's not working as it used to be. You can mm. go; the office is right around Cantonment here. Mm. I have well, visited there. there. To buy. No, <laughs> so if you if there is excess, mm. like you're saying, there's excess production because you claim that you made investments in planting for food and jobs and all of that, and then there are excess volumes that have been produced, then the farmers shouldn't be experiencing post-harvest losses because if the buffer store company was working well mm -hmm. and they had con continued the legacy of John Dramani Mahama from 2017 and built that institution to be firm and have financial viability to be able to buy from the farmers mm -hmm. who will not be suffering from what it is that we're suffering today. So that is one. You you left the buffer store company to collapse and you are complaining about post-harvest losses mm -hmm. and farmers not getting market for their goods. Because the idea of the buffer store company was to serve as mm -hmm. a stop government so the farmers produce, then there is a ready market for mm -hmm. them. So in times of hardship or when mm -hmm. off the season, these farmers will be able to supply mm -hmm. or the buffer store company will send this produce to the market. Secondary schools will consume this rice and all of those things. So mm -hmm. we, we, we have to be firm to the fact. Mm -hmm. The fact is that you have collapsed the buffer store company and its operations. And that is why the farmers <laughs> are not even getting ready market. Apart from that, there is something very peculiar. How, how, can, I collapse, with, how can I collapse an institution? be buying now where did they suddenly you see you see, you see the government is very reactive ask them what has been you can check from the books of the buffer store company from 2017 what they have been doing like i'm so, telling you so how does i'm the, a farmer how does so the free shs feed no the, the free shs the free shs there are there are various ways by which they feed it is not only through the buffer store company that they buy produce for for them you can check from the various senior high schools mm -hmm. And so the point is that, like I'm saying, there's something very peculiar 
with this government. The way they get to the market and make too much noise about their policies mm -hmm. when they are not really seeing the real impact. Let me tell you something. In 2008, mm -hmm. at the time President Kufo was living, mm -hmm. Ghana's rice production was at 301,900 metric tons. Mm -hmm. By 2014, and you know we really don't have current data, by 2014, that production increased to 604,041 604, metric tons. That is well over 100% increment in production, mm. which resulted in a 45% fall mm. in Ghana's import bill on rice. As we speak, mm. by 2016, Ghana was importing rice far less than a billion dollars. But as we speak, in 2017 and all of that, today, we are doing close to $1.5 billion. It's 1 .3. But you have the current data. One point three. I'm well, close. A moment ago, when you said you didn't have current data. We don't have no, current data. It's, it's that, that was on the metric the last, tons production. The last that was I checked production. was 1.1, then I think it was 1.3. 1.1 1. 1 was in 2017. Mm. 1.3, when you, let's even assume 1.3, it's just the exact accurate figure. So today, we are doing $1.3 billion mm. worth of import when it comes to rice alone. And that alone constitutes over 82% of all imports alone in this country. So that tells you that there is a problem. Now, it is good. But, but if around this table we eat local rice, we Yes, that, 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 I'm getting to that. It's good. Let's all encourage people to eat local rice. And for me, I'm, I'm very fortunate that, um, I mean, I love the local rice as well because mm -hmm. having... Uh, I worked with Honorable Okujeto Ablakwa mm -hmm. in the uh, North Town mm -hmm. constituency, mm -hmm. and I've very met, so I know he also consumes the local rice, and so we have become very used to the local mm -hmm. rice and all of that. But so, <laughs> so, so the local rice is good. Let's encourage the campaign. But there are some very, very important and germane concerns Quick, quickly. that that we have to raise. Quickly, people have raised concerns about the pricing. People have raised concerns about packaging, mm -hmm. because, for example, in, during Christmas. Most of this rice that we consume is not the individuals who buy it that consume it themselves. They present mm. it as gifts or packages and right. all of that. Mm. So how do we package our rice in such a way that when people are going to donate it to others or give it as Christmas present and all of those things, then it can be attractive enough because that is what others are looking at. Mm. So we ought to quickly work on our packaging. We ought to look at the campaign beyond a certain political rhetoric mm. Mm. and look at how we can ensure that indeed the rice is in the market and then people get value mm. for what it is that they are buying. So okay. it's a good idea and all of that. But let me say, mm. when it comes to rice production, when it comes to consumption of rice and the reduction of import bill, the NDC's record is unmatchable by the NPP. Okay, uh, I'll put uh, one minute question to both of you. The, we had what we call the brand Ghana, uh, which is, was supposed to push most of these agen agenda and, or agenda. Where is Brand Ghana? What are they doing? <laughs> are they still alive and well? Or be, did they collapse too? It will be it will be it will be it will be difficult for me to to uh, because I, I can recollect uh, um the, the I remember there was an office set up uh, yeah. somewhere sometime mm -hmm. ago and uh, there was a mills or something. Yes. Uh, Brand Ghana. But you see branding Ghana and selling Ghana, it's it's a whole um, very big thing. We put experts Today, there. We put, we put experts, experts there. there. And I don't know where, where, where it went. It, it will be difficult for for us to, to set up an office and say brand gun. But today, the, the government has a lot of other activities all aimed at selling Ghana. But if, we're, if we we're don't doing, synchronize doing, it yes, and, and it, synergize it, it properly, we'll have I'm a telling, I'm telling you that there, there is a center. Problem. There is a center. There is a center that is, that is holding and coordinating all of this. Which, which is we, it? We have, we have something like a, a, a diaspora office somewhere, mm -hmm. somewhere in the, at the, at the, another, another presidency, office of the presidency. We have... That's what is running the we have, year we of have the, That's it. That's, that's it. what yeah. is running the year. Of, and they are, they are not just doing it in, in isolation, but they are doing it um, in conjunction with the Ghana Tourist Board. Even GIPC has mm. a role to play. So all these institutions have things to do that will that will sell Ghana to Have you been satisfied I guess, with their work? I think that I think that I I I had I had a, the, the, the the CEO of the the Ghana Tourist. Um, Authorities speaking Mr. yesterday, Kusia Jumai. Uh, Jumai, seeing that we are expecting about a million people within this festive season mm -hmm. in, in conjunction Earlier with they said the year of return. Yes, but it's yeah. been, I, I heard him mention a million, and for us to have a million people come visit within mm -hmm. Christmas to New Year, I think it's huge. I saw the police service yesterday preparing mm -hmm. towards some of all, all of this. And so I think that we are, we are actually moving have, in that have direction. Have you been if concerned about problems, where they will be sleeping as well? 
Oh, you don't it, have hotels. This is, this is, this is keep have, coming up. You don't have this hotels. This keep ca coming up. And, and you see, it's, it's <laughs> we moved. Have we have moved from where we used to, and it's been significant. Until, mm. until Movement Peck and Kempensky, international conferences couldn't come to Ghana for just because we didn't have mm. those mm. facilities. Now, unless we have some places. And there are the quite significant um, 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 hotels. See, and when, other, when you keep coming saying up. significant, look, I have an interest in this area. Mm. And just last Sunday, I was on there talking about it. Mm. How many rooms does Moving Pig have? How many rooms does Kempinski have? Labadi Beach. Rock City. All of them together. Rock City. Rock City, Akko. We Ibi will Star. get there. No. So hold on. So now, the guests are coming in. Mm. And you don't have enough hotels. Mm. And forgive us that we're digressing a bit. But the guests are coming in. Mm. You don't have the hotels. Mm. The reverse is that most of these guests would also want to do homestay. Mm -hmm. because they don't want to come in and start just living in hotels so they are detached from the communities that they want to come mm -hmm. back to. Mm -hmm. But they want to find, say, Adam's house where there's a one-bedroom mm -hmm. that he can perch in there for three days, one week. Mm. We, that arrangement, I don't see it. And, and when I talk I, about I, it, they I say, agree, oh, I agree with you. We, we are working at it. We are I, working. I, I, I December is here. Where will the people you. sleep? I agree with you. I think, I think this all led to the concept of B&B, where you can live with the indigents and actually experience the life, the everyday life and all of that. And so I'm sure we'll get there. I'm, 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 you, have, you run programs mm. on, your, on your network, which is aimed at growing our, our tourism sector. Right. And I am sure that people are watching this and people mm. are becoming conscious. People who have space will actually prepare. But there's one thing I, I needed Quickly. to react mm. from, what, what my, Adam, my, said. my mm. Adam said. Adam called this government a reactive government and I'm telling him that it is a government that rather thinks more of mm. the next generation than the next elections look we have done and it's not just rhetoric mm. we have done things things over the last three years that that shows that we think about the next generation one of that significant one is we have we have a law that we pass in, in Parliament mm. um, called the fiscal responsibility act that is placing a cap on the deficit five, spending to five percent. So mm. That is so significant, especially in an election year, for a government to say that we are not going to overspend our budget mm. by more than five percent. It's so significant. We are thinking about the next generation mm. and not the next election. Okay. It, didn't, it didn't just finish there. Mm. We have the Fiscal Responsibility Council in place and look at how, what is happening in education. I can tell you between 2014 and 2016, um, um, 2018, I think, the uh, enrollment mm. in, in senior high school is moved from 36% to 62%. This is thinking about the next generation and not this. No, the, not, the children not still don't have their, yeah, their don't textbooks look, it's, to, it, to, I will, to learn I will, from, I will, to guide I will, the teachers, I will put, to write their I will end put, of I will still Johnny, put this the next children generation. in school. I will put these children in school every day and leave them to loiter about But the they don't have the textbook. When you went to school, Honorable, you yeah. had a textbook to refer to. Your teacher had a textbook to refer to. It's, it's, if it's, the textbooks are not there, what are they learning in school? It's, By whose standard and whose structure? Oh, of course, there's, 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 there's a syllabus in place that we don't there's have There's a new syllabus, pay. there's no uh, textbook. There is, there is, I mean, we can, we, can, we can see this, but we are not going to run a perfect but the system. Education and there is, is no perfect system anywhere. There are always students or some the, challenges. The, the risk of miseducating them the Doesn't risk of miseducating. miseducating what, what do you call miseducating? Well, if, if, if I am the teacher mm. and I don't have the manual to teach... Remember, it's have, not just a teacher. It is a trained teacher. Well, but I don't, have the, if I don't have the manual to teach. Uh, uh, would, you, would you tell me that a teacher will get into, into a class to teach social studies and not have an idea what, what to teach when the syllabus is right in front of so, him? So the situation is that the teacher at Okanakwe North... I am not, I am not the rationalizing the fact. I am, I'm accepting the will, fact that... Will be teaching I am, I am, what is in their head differently and not what, what is, is standardized. Head. I mean, how can you... I mean, when you have a syllabus guiding I mean, a what to say and what to teach, how can you be teaching what to... I put the two of you here. I've asked you to talk about rice. Yeah, I'm, you're spoken about different about things. Yeah. He's spoken about different things as well. <laughs> but you're all talking about rice. I want to get back but to rice. If we, to had, get back. if we had, I want if to we get had, back hold on, hold on. But if we had, <laughs> if we had beyond the the manual that was given to them um, training, mm. if we had a textbook mm. from which they can draw their lesson notes, mm. which will be approved by the headmaster mm. and the security supervisor. Mm. I'm sure they will do way better. And, and we'll be serving the children better than, that is, that is than what they happening. are being served with now. That not is, that, that so, is, so back to the career. But I was just telling you that we are not a reactive government. 
we are covering that things of the next generation. That is why we will impose Where this are the and this is why we are doing it. Where are the textbooks? Yeah. I, I, if the textbooks are, are not there, I, 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 last time I checked, I, they had to go through some processes, and those processes are ongoing. So Once that, those processes okay. are that, 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 that we should, again we should be able, we should my be able point to, get, to get There has been no proper planning to any policy being implemented. But you didn't do it. You Kufa didn't do it when government. you were No, we, we had textbooks. You didn't we had do textbooks. it. No, we had a different approach to education, and our approach, we still believe that was the best. But that notwithstanding, they've started the free SHS on the mass basis. When the NDC comes back to power in 2021, we'll continue. Let me let me return to Let me return to right. Let me turn over. We will improve it. We will do it better than you were doing. Let me get back to the rice. Quickly. And tie it to the year of it. I think that the year of return, as beautiful as a concept, maybe its implementation also has some challenges. There's no diversity. When all of these guests arrive, it looks like mm -hmm. most of the tourist attractions that they are exposed to mm -hmm. are right here in the south. But mm -hmm. there are beautiful sites in the north, yeah. and there are hotels there and everything. I think that we need to diversify. I'm again, the year of return, the year of return, again, again, the year of return, the year of return explained that uh, for the programs that they are holding, they ask for people to submit proposals. And then they agreed to the proposals. So if proposals didn't come didn't from, from saying Wale Wale, but, no, but, but it's, it's but, possible but, but, for but the ministry to also develop mm. a certain program for for tourist sites in the northern sector as well. Again, we can also cash in on this year of return. But, but they are doing with the, 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 right the private sector. For example, mm. all the guests that are arriving, mm. can we, as a form of a package, give them some of the well local rights so mm. that they take it away? With them, so when you go to Depo, you go to Abalavi, you go okay. to Apipe, mm. some of these rice farmers in these areas are only looking for investors. So okay. you diversify the the tourism in such a way that sure you send them the to this area. No, but the programs have been centered here okay. in the south, yes, and I'm I, saying I, that I my uncle in Apipe or Depo or Abalavi, who is a rice farmer, also wants to have a feel of his rice planting going for out. export and rural development. The paired program they, they are good at giving beautiful tax to the program. Resource. That's what we're saying. 1.9 million. Let's allow the lady, uh, a sweet lady, to tell us what's up. For the morning. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. Prince Henry Kuforidia says, Good morning, Johnny. This government should walk the talk. Too much talk and little actions. Too much hardship under the Nana Ekufado uh, and the MPP. From Fuseinu Du Kifo, Sunny to Rawa Good morning, Johnny, and your panelists. Please tell my brother Fuseini to stop defending impunity under President Nana Ado's watch. Good morning. Good morning, Johnny. I realize that in NDC, if a small boy wants to be a hero or famous, he starts insulting elders. Even the founder said it's citing examples. Babies with sharp teeth. That is what exactly Edem is doing. He switched to the president and back to the topic again. Asembeba, uh, that's A.A. A. Salam mm -hmm. in Ablikuma. Um, Agbana Mugabe is walking freely on the streets uh, of Ghana by courtesy of presidential pardon and uh, the endorsement yes. of your NDC party leaders to free mm -hmm. him. What a hypocrite. Everyone is supposed to face the law when he or she is offended, uh, when he or she offend, uh, offends. That's from Emmanuel from who. Good morning, Johnny. Is it uh, lo not logical that if someone commits a crime because of his relations with the president, he was left unpunished, either people uh, would follow suit? The leadership uh, is the leadership is failing uh, willfully, woefully. David from Lakeside Estates. Good morning, Johnny. Please, please. The truth be told, this so-called man of God and his his guys must be arrested and punished. He does not deserve to be treated like a man of God. Johnny, good morning. We thank God for your continuous uh, campaign about easing local rights and other locally made. Uh, products, but my question is that since we are short-sighted people, can this campaign sustain a test of time uh, in, 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 terms, uh, in terms in, in terms of the taste uh, Ghanaians have um, foreign for, for foreign rice? That's from John Inho. Good morning, TV3. I must say you guys are doing a very good work this morning. But my advice to the NDC man is to tackle the issues on board and also provide the needed solution to it and stop referring to us because. We are tired of their way of tackling issues to build our beloved nation, Ghana. That's from Loverson uh, in Chelsea. TV3, God bless you for your good work. Have a blessed day. God bless you too. And lastly, Napco, Napco, Napco. Pay us all. Pay your trainees because we are dying. Oh, and that's the last one. Okay. Good morning, Johnny. Zeni, you want to take that? Uh,
pay, Which pay one of NAPCO, them? NAPCO trainees. <laughs> NAPCO trainees. Yes. You see, you uh, say they like um, the concept, um, but um, the, the, the money, the, 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 the money. concept is excellent. Um, the the whole idea of giving mm. this uh, here to unemployed graduates the opportunity to 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 be productive. It's a, but you see, it's it's it, 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 it's also a program that is in it. Uh, you just celebrated the first anniversary of NAPCO, yeah. and and a whole lot of issues keep 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 coming up. Um, some of these NAPCO uh, recruits will be shouting that their names have uh, their 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 um, allowances have not been paid. Um, but when you when you when you look into this, either the attempt sheets not mm. going through the at the, at the right time, so they have been failing to go and and do the requisite filing at the okay. appropriate time to 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 allow the processing mm. of the allowances. So when these issues come up, okay. but I, I'll tell them that we as a government, a government that so, thinks so of the next generation, and, 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 and ensure details. that ensure that these whole things are, okay. are come true because there are coordinators all over mm. um, and, and, and in the assemblies and all of that to coordinate and get their data okay. and forward it to the appropriate right. authorities. And also because we want to. Um, 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 also, um, take out the double um, 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 payments and all of that. Mm, ghost they're, they're, they're ghost okay. The ghost names and all of that. They're, because they're, there is there is um, 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 evidence mm. that some some of them were under or on other schemes and have also. And, and so all of this is, is the same. So it's not it's not the case okay. of them. The do, do you have an astro turf in your corner? Uh, um, I see not that yet. Adwajiri is getting it. You, your people like football. No, no, not yet. Your but people it, it, like football. Your people like football. You see, the, the, the like challenge. Political talk. The, 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 <laughs> see, Johnny, let me let me let me address this. The, the challenge of my constituency is that uh, about um, sixty percent of my constituency mm. was earmarked for an Olympic village. Right. And then um, the the Alodia owners of the land got in there and mm. started selling land. So getting land for even projects like that is a huge challenge. Wow. No community lands are available. available. I mean, from Aquitema up there, there is wow. no community land. Today, you want to build a clinic, a school in a place like Aquitema, there is no land available. Wow. Thankfully, we've been able to identify a place in, 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 in Abufu, mm. and um, we've had some proposals and all of that. Um, all things being equal, before you, the you end have, of this year, we'll start working on our own astrotech. I see. Wembley, uh, Robert Koma, good morning to you. Do, do you have an astro turf in your corner? You, you, no, don't, you don't look like not, you play football. Not. Well, I love football. <laughs> I, do I, you play? I used to play football, but now when I'm on the pitch, I, I can't do even 10 minutes. You know? Your, your <laughs> mouth is faster than your legs. <laughs> you know but but, but Teresa only going, asked take, me, take to, one question. Teresa only asked mm. me to, to, to tell him that She's coming for the seat, so he should enjoy his last year. First, in first he should look for a house within the constituency. And she's, come and she's in the, in the constituency. constituency. Once she lives but, in the constituency, but, but, then she but, can't. She okay, can't she can come and say. But, 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 like but Johnny, yeah. I, I thought uh, one one quick thing before we leave. Mm. Yesterday, I saw in the news that government intends to borrow some ten point three billion mm. uh, in bonds, and about eight point five. Ten point three billion in yes, bonds. Yes, intense. they want to raise. About ten point three billion over what in, period in, in, in bonds? Well, I, the details are, are what, still what's your not difficulty are, are still with it? My difficulty is that when you look at it, uh, it's expected to service okay. um, some of the already existing debts. Already, this government has borrowed about one hundred and ten billion, okay. which is almost one hundred percent of when, all the when debt the details that came come up to me. With I, think that, Thank you. I think that is important. To when advise the details come up, we discuss it. To stop the excessive borrowing, especially Post if, when you to the to the euro market for seven billion Isha, this year. He no, is a member of parliament for the Tamale. That's the Tamale North. Okanque North constituency, I beg your pardon, and in the Greater Accra region. Also, Edda Magbana is the deputy national youth organizer of the NDC. Most grateful for your time.